But all right, guys, it's uh, the evening of the opening day. I'm getting ready to head back out. Uh, we fished till like 10 this morning, and I think we caught three apiece, so it wasn't bad, but the water's really high and kind of murky. I don't mind the murkiness, but it's a little high. But uh, I'm getting ready to head back out. It's 5.15, so we got probably, we're gonna have about two and a half hours to fish. But hopefully it goes a little better than it did this morning, but I'm gonna head over there and hopefully hook into a nice trout, we'll see. But uh, heading over there now, I'll see y'all when we get there. Alrighty, I just got out here. Uh, Cameron stayed back this evening. He's going to work on this morning's video, but uh, I'm out here. I just got rigged up. We'll start out with the Y2K as my top fly. Pheasant tail is my bottom fly. Uh, looks like the creeks went down a little bit this, since this morning. I'll have to watch, them on the, watch it on the video and see if it did. It looks a little clearer, maybe like it's one down a, maybe a little bit, maybe a foot, half a foot. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get casting. All right, guys, just cast my first cast out. It's nice and warm. Got a lot warmer this evening. Wondering how deep this hole is. I'm guessing it's close to probably six, seven foot. Maybe even deeper. My fly ain't even coming. It ain't even touching the bottom. I need to be hitting the bottom. Oh, I just had one and got off, son of a bitch. Well, first fish of the day and I let him get off. It's always great. Oh, he got off again. Oh my goodness. What the shit am I doing here? Two misses. Got one. I'm slow on the jerk, I guarantee I probably got him foul hooked, but I'm just glad to hook up already this today. Oh yeah. Looks like he took the Y2K. Come on buddy, I'll put you back, I promise. I mean, he swallowed it. They don't usually swallow them flies like that. Get my pole up here and get them off. Had like a. Uh, <coughs> two bites in a row right there. And I finally caught this, this guy. Damn, bud. That ain't too bad. We get him back in the water here. He's bleeding a little bit, but he wasn't hooked too bad. Come on, buddy. Don't float on me, hoss. There he goes. I don't know. That's my first one of the day to start. Well, first one this evening. Fourth of the day. I love it. I'm gonna get my fly tied back on and get back out there. Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Back started here. Got one this evening and uh 
three hits. Two of them I missed, one I caught. If there's more fish in here. I know we've caught a lot of fish out of this hole this year. Between us and the boys on the mentor day. Yeah, I might have been a bite, so jerked. Dry fly. We'll be fishing with dry fly as soon as it gets a little warmer. I don't see too many trout surfacing yet. See a few, but not a lot. Got one. Man, that took me a second to even realize. He just let it fall into his mouth and he didn't even move. So I said, sometimes you just gotta jerk when that line stops. I just lifted up a little bit, felt weight. Finished setting the hook. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> My brother, me and him, was out this morning. He fell in right there before we even got to start to fish. Get him back. Whoa. Uh, me and my brother helped him. Did you? We stopped up there where the guy has the barbed wire. Uh -huh. And we was going to take him down there by the 119 bridge. But he, the game warden, he left the stalking truck to go down and see if the guy was down there on his ATV or whatever to take the buckets around. He wasn't down there, the property owner. Uh -huh. So they didn't even stalk it. They loaded 12 buckets right up there. They they finished the truck off right here. That's why we fished this spot this year. But yeah, I was like, man, I'll run them. I like the 119 spot the best. Yeah. Down there by the bridge and stuff. I was like, man, I'll walk them, but they won't. They wouldn't even give us time. They was in such a rush to get done, you know. Uh -huh. Instead of letting us spread the fish out, he pulled up there by the barbed wire. There's nowhere we could go. They, this guy won't let us because we's on that side of the creek and we can't go on that property. Then we just stopped right up there. So we had to put 12 buckets right there by where the barbed wire is. I brought my boys over here for mentor, that mentor day. I got a seven year old, a three year old, and a 12 year old. And- How'd that three year old do? He played in the sand more than he fished. <laughs> he, I took him home, man. He looked like the sand man. My wife was ready to kill me. It was like, I couldn't stop him. It was like a big old, uh sandbox for them but they all did they all ended up doing pretty good on uh yellow power bait yellow power bait the smell has the salmon eggs on it yeah couldn't get them bite on nothing else but we'd put it right out here by this tree and let it sink down they'd i mean i couldn't i couldn't keep keep their hooks on because they'd swallow it and i'd bite the line and put the fish yeah. back you know and it was just, I, I was tying hooks and putting bait on all day, man. Hey, that's fun to kids. Yeah, yep, it was a good time. They all, we had four of them with us, me and my brother did. My nephews went, his little boy went. It was a pretty good time. They had a good time. Not too many of them younger kids get out and do this stuff anymore. No. Just hooked up. I think it's like my third of the day. I don't even know what I caught him on. He moved up about a couple feet, or I don't know, probably 20 yards. Man, that's a pretty decent one. And I hooked into this guy. 
Yeah, he hit the, I think it's like a green pheasant tail. You gotta get that size right today. Oh yeah, buddy. It's a good hook set. All right, guys, got him off. Get him back in the water. There he goes, man, he darted. He was ready to go. Well, that's three this evening and three this morning. I'd have caught my limit if I'd have caught the captain, but I don't eat them, so I don't keep them. Don't keep them for cat food. Hell yeah, guys. That's what I wanted. I just got done talking to one of my buddies and the, the landowner that owns out over there. And as soon as they left, I got more into it and focused in. I got one. I was just getting ready to move holes too, and I moved up about 20 yards and hit one quick. See if there's any more out there. Hmm, there's a bite. Second bite in this hole. Barely feeling fuck biting today. I gotta pretty much jerk when my line stops. They're not hitting it hard. Alright guys, I got a ton new fly on. <coughs> I'll get my camera on whenever I get back started. Alright guys, I'm back tied up. Got me a Thought I was out of pheasant tails, but I got one more left. That's what I've been hitting them on. So hopefully we can continue. I'm gonna get me a drink and get back started here. Nobody on the creeks this evening. It's crazy. Water ain't that bad. Let's see if we can get out in this. Uh, it's like a whirlpool out there. I know there's probably fish out there. A lot of times they're hard to fish out. Uh, hard to get a good flow in them. At least that's how I feel. I don't know. Other people probably don't have problems. But I see a lot of people out here that you know. That's what's good. Oh. Ah. So it's good a lot of people talk shit on stock fishermen but it's kind of like a tradition man i've did this since i was seven probably seven eight years old maybe younger it's like you get out and you see the same people almost every year and get a catch up you don't get to hang out with people like you used to once you grow up but it's nice seeing them on trout season I'm hitting a snag every time. Every time. I'm going to move up a little farther than I'm maybe. Try a different hole. Actually, I think I'm going to get ready to roll out and try, try another spot. Seen too much of this hole for one day. Probably fished it for a good four hours or so. Man, look at that. Clean over there. Whoa, don't walk down the stream, man. That's tough. You guys be careful if you're out on the water today. <laughs> I just tried walking down the stream straight forward or straight down and uh, about got swept off my feet there. A little scary. Don't look like it's moving that fast, but when you're up to your waist and water, it gets to pushing you. All right, guys, I'm gonna shut my camera off for a few minutes. Uh, I'm about my battery's about dead. I'm gonna shut it off for a few minutes and get. I'll turn it on if I get a bite or catch one something. 
give it a couple, couple more casts, and then I'm going to shut it off. All right, let's get shot this one. Huh? We've been fishing here all day. Gonna move on. Probably regret this, but I want new scenery. Been this hole too long today. This fish seen bait all day, I guarantee it, because this is one of the probably most fished holes in this creek, to be honest. Well, at least I know in this section. I'm gonna grab my garbage and head on out to a different hole. I'll see you guys whenever I get to the next hole. We're gonna go upstream probably about a quarter mile. All right, guys, I moved up. Uh, I don't really know these waters too good. It's kind of sketchy. You always got to be careful walking in this murky water. You never know where it's going to drop off or going to step on a log and fall or something. Like happened to Cameron today. Uh, but yeah, I'm working my way out. I'm going to try fishing right along this rock right here. Right where them, the foam's going down through. Should be some trout laying in there. We'll try it. Nothing, boys. I'm gonna run my battery down to 15%. I'm gonna have to shut it off and only film whenever I hook, set the hook, I guess. After I hook them, and my battery's about dead. I need to get another battery. Tell you what, there must be a lot of structure under there because I'm hitting something. These be fish are beating me. Beat me. I want to make a change, but it's so late in the day to make a change now. Kind of hate to. Keep them upstream slowly. That's how I usually fish. Seems like I like working upstream better than I do down. I don't know why. Probably because that's the way I started dry when I first started fly fishing I used I only thought there's a thing of dry flies I didn't know there's <laughs> like nymphs and stuff to be honest I just thought there's you use floating dry flies but uh I'm gonna break off man nope 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 But yeah, you work, usually work upstream with that. This must not be very deep at all. All right, I'm at 13%, so I'm gonna shut it off and I'll turn it on if I hook up. All right guys, I moved up a little bit more, but I wanted to show you this real quick. I can't leave my camera on because my battery's about dead, but I'm gonna flip, I'm gonna, fish this seam right here where the foam's going down through i have a feeling they're going to be like right underneath that rock over there if you guys can still see it if it ain't too dark but i think that's where it'll be we're gonna find out but i'll turn the camera on if i get hooked up here i'll see it when i hopefully i hook up here oh yeah guys i just hooked up i can't even believe it did not think i was going to catch any off here and i caught it on the pheasant tail Oh, he popped off. Oh, man. On the pheasant tail, but it was right where I said, right in front of that rock there. I don't know. I'm going to hurry up and get some more cast in. Hopefully, I can hook another one. Alrighty, guys. It is 8.16. I'm heading out. Uh, I think I ended up catching three or four and I had a couple get off Had one get off. Uh, I should have landed right there at dark right before dark uh, Here in this last hole. I finished up one I don't know. They're hit hitting a lot of natural stuff in this creek. It seems like the Y2K egg it ain't doing Really all that great. It's still probably caught the most fish out of any other bait uh, fly today that we used 
But the pheasant tail, the pheasant tail was very, it's been very good in this creek this year. Well, other creeks too. Uh, Cameron's got one that's called like Blackjack or something. It's doing very, really good. But yeah, I'm going to head out of here and uh, I'll see you guys whenever I get to the Jeep. We got a little walk out of here, but I'll see you guys when I get there. Took one can with me, brought it back out. Can't leave garbage. That's like the guy I was talking to. That was the other side of the creek that I was fishing. That's why he stopped people from fishing it. They was leaving beer cans and stuff all the way over the bank. But I always, whatever I take in, I'll bring back out with me. I've always been like that. That's how I was raised. But I make my way back to the Jeep now. I'll be there in a minute. Alrighty, guys. Uh, I just finished up. I think I ended up catching three and. I lost probably three or four or two. I lost one there right at dark that I should have caught. Had it like five feet from me and was just getting ready to go to net and it <clears throat> jumped off. But uh, overall today was, I mean, it was, it was okay. But compared to most first days, we usually catch a lot more. But I think I ended up catching six or seven all day, which we fished from like 8 till 10.30. Then I fished from... 5 30 to 8 this evening but uh yeah it was a pretty de decent day i hope you guys all had a good day hopefully you got out got to go out because i know a lot of the creeks around here are really muddy but we did find one that was somewhat all right it was green and had a little bit of clarity to it so we fished it and we did pretty decent but uh i'm gonna get ready to head out of here and uh we'll be doing a lot more trout fishing next couple of weeks i know they'll be doing a lot of stalking around here in southwestern pa but uh if you guys like this video if you would leave a like and subscribe we'd really appreciate it and uh but that's it for today and we'll see you next time thanks for watching